I feel good. Um, you know, uh, body a little fatigued, but I feel good. Um, I think I can play another 35 minutes tomorrow. So uh, I think it was positive, man. Everything came back positive. How did the knee react? Knee was good, same, consistent. Tiny bit of swelling. The same as it been the whole suspect. time. So uh, that, that was a positive thing. So um, we're just gonna take it from there and uh, do some more treatment tonight and uh, just act like it never. I never played 35 minutes before. <laughs> when how, was, how was the cardio though? Ramping up the minutes. Was it fun yesterday? Cardio was great, but you know all the banging, you know running through picks, you know. Um, those types of things I still got to get used to, but um, it was great. Everything was good. Like I said, everything was positive. I uh, met with the training staff this morning, and uh, everything looked the exact same that it did two days ago. What's the difference between the last two games? Uh, physicality. I think we're coming out more physical. Uh, we're being a more aggressive team. Uh, we're paying attention to detail like we need to. First game, I don't think we paid attention to detail. So. Uh, that's the biggest thing, man, in this series is, you know, we all know each other plays by now, but it's who, who can pay attention to details and who the more physical team. And I think we've been a more physical team so far. Do you believe in momentum? Nah, I think every game contains its own momentum. So uh, I don't believe in that. I just believe in going out, playing hard, and giving yourself a chance to win. Obviously, the team defense has been great, but you as a primary defender on Paul George, what are some of the things that you lock into about what he tries to get done? Uh, just be physical, make every shot for him hard. Um, don't give him no easy looks, no feel good looks. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing because he's one of those guys, he get a couple to go down, it's hard to contain him. So uh, I just try to make every shot hard for him and uh, try to give him no easy looks. Well, what, do, what do you think he'll do tomorrow knowing that you're going to start at him? I mean, it, might have surprised him, quote unquote, a bit yesterday, but tomorrow he expects you. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, like my, like my uncle Mike Anderson used to tell me, uh, if I do what I have to do, he ain't gonna do what he want to do. So uh, I'm gonna go out there and focus on my game plan, Toronto Raptors game plan, and uh, you know let the chips fall where they fall. Paul was saying you were getting away with hitting him on the wrist, hitting him on the, you know, elbow. What, what do you think about that? That's Paul, man. Paul, he, I've been knowing Paul for a long time. We played a lot, uh, you know, a lot in LA together when I was a rookie and coming up. So um, that's Paul being Paul, man. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep playing the way I've been playing, and uh, that's physical basketball. And uh, obviously, if the refs didn't call it, it wasn't no foul, right? <laughs> so there we go. I was gonna say it's not exactly a denial, but it is like that's playoff basketball. Yeah, hey, basketball is physical, right? Uh, if it was a cakewalk. There'll be a lot of people in the playoffs, right? So I feel like um, I'm just going to continue to keep playing the way I play, man, and, you know, let him talk to the refs. And I'll talk to the refs, you know, after the season. As it is, they got twice as many fouls called against you guys. Yeah, he's still shooting 12, 14, 16 free throws. How many, how many more free throws you want? You want 20? You want 30? But um, that's on him, man. I, I, like I said, I'm just going to worry about myself and uh, worry about the Raptors, and we're going to come out and keep doing what we need to do. How much did you feel the, the fatigue in the legs on the jump shot? Woo, I started feeling it. Uh, but my um, Kyle Corver used to always tell me, man, just keep shooting. Keep shooting, keep having the same technique, and uh, it'll eventually fall. And that's what it did, man. I just kept believing, kept shooting. I felt the fatigue, um, you know. But that's something I got to get used to and get back in rhythm. And, uh, you know, like I said before, let the chips fall where they fall. Did you feel like they were playing, they were, they were defending to make you make shots, take shots and make shots? No, nah, not necessarily. I, I know a couple of shots, a couple of threes I was shooting that I could have drove. I was just, you know, just trying to get back in the rhythm of things. And uh, but I don't, I don't believe they was on. I think they mainly was focused on JV. Yeah. They didn't want him to yeah. get in the lane, so it opened up a lot of threes for myself, Kyle, T. Ross, and so on. So uh, we just got to knock them down, man. Because if they're gonna double team JV, we got to make them pay from the outside. Where momentum goes or where it can take you in a series, but do you do you feel like you guys in the locker room understand what it takes to win now? And, and, and there's more of an understanding of how you guys can be successful more so than how how momentum might be treated in a series. Um, I think we're just taking one game at a time. We're not looking ahead. We know that we got to come in each game and play just as hard as we played in the previous game, and I feel like that's what we've been doing. 
the first game, you know, uh, a little nervous. Right. Uh, a lot of guys came out a little tight, but right now, man, I think we're, we're playing so hard that we're giving us, ourselves a chance to win a lot of games. We're still not knocking down the nearest many shots uh, on the offensive end that we need to, but we're playing so hard on the defensive end, I think it's giving us a, a good chance to win. So, like I said before, once we get it all together and start all clicking, the sky's the limit for it. But, th but there's more of a comfort amongst you guys now versus maybe seeing the matchup in game one and sort of seeing it as it as it goes forward. Yeah, you have to, I have to give credit to Coach. You know, he established the rotation. I think the first game he kind of filled in, filled out the rotation. And, uh, you know, he came in the second game and he had in his head the rotation. And he came in the third game with his right rotation. So, uh, you know, all the credit, I think, goes to the coaching staff. They've been doing a phenomenal job uh, scouting these guys and, you know, putting us in the right play. We just got to go out there and execute.